Classic Sports Network presents Center Court Classics. Welcome to Victory Yard. I'm Bud Collins, and I'm going to take you back to 1971, the year the game of tennis really started to take off as never before. That year, a 20-year-old Aboriginal from Australia, Ivan Gulagan, won Wimbledon. John Newcomb, another Aussie, won his second straight Wimbledon title, and Billie Jean King made over $100,000 in prize money. Now, that doesn't sound like much in today's terms, but it was the stratosphere, 100,000 bucks. And it was the year of TGA, Caps TGA, the great arrival of Christine Marie Everett, a 16-year-old, ponytail and back, and boy, what ground well, stroke. What Not many people knew about Chrissy at that point. She'd played for the United States and helping to win the Whiteman Cup. She'd won a small tournament in New Jersey, but she'd never been on television. It was at Forest Hills that she instantly captivated the U.S. Open crowds. This is the fourth year of open tennis. Amateurs and pros together, and she's an amateur up against a pro. 24-year-old Marianne Eisel, the number four player in the United States, much more experienced. In the first round, Chrissy beat a German, Etta Budding, fairly easily, won in love in the stadium at Forest Hills, this wonderful 13,000-seat concrete horseshoe. Now the Open is gone from Forest Hills, but it's on grass then in 1971, and there were 9,000 people showing up on the first Saturday of the tournament to take a look at this wonder child against Marianne Eisel. Now, grass court, that is not Chrissy's surface. She grew up on clay in Florida, but she is a marvelously composed child, playing hooky from high school at St. Thomas Aquinas and trying to stay as long as she can. But grass, well, we just think the kid's going to be all right, but not this time. And yet she goes out onto that grass court and plays pretty well. She loses the first set, and then look at this, a grass court. You won't, you won't see this very often, lined for singles. Three courts like this in the stadium at Forest Hills so that they could save the grass, move the matches around. Chrissy Everett, with her two-fisted backhand, is not moving Marianne Eisel around enough. So she loses the first set. And as we join the match, Chrissy, with her back to us, will be serving. She's lost the first set, six games to four, and Marianne Eisel can really volley. Best of three sets. And Marianne has one of them. Oh, there's a winner. It's not a bad start to the second set when you've just lost the first. And she didn't even walk around behind the baseline and take a breather, as most players do. Really keen to get on with it. Nice. Top shot, wins it. Gee, she approached that as though she were throwing a rock at a snake. Yes, she does. She approaches them, and you think this is going to be a really hard drive to the corner, and then at the last minute she fades underneath the ball, and it just crawls out over the net with a bit of backspin on, and there's no way with that wing she'll get to it. Nice touch. First game of the second set to Chrissy Everett. This classic sports presentation is brought to you by Coca-Cola Classic. Always the real thing. Always Coca-Cola. You remember correctly, I paid last time. You didn't pay last time. Great. I 
Introducing the Coca-Cola ATM MasterCard. Redeemable at any MasterCard ATM for up to $100. If you haven't found one yet, keep looking. This time of year, this is one of my favorite spots. If I'm working this patch, that crowd there is easy pickings. They're hypnotized. They're listening to every word that guide says. I could lift three, maybe four wallets off that lot. That woman, mentally, she's trying on all those clothes she's just bought. I can lift her purse on my way out. Got a backup plan? Take American Express Traveler's Checks. $300 worth could save the day. We now return to Center Court Classics on Classic Sports Network. And Chrissy Everett is going to receive Marianne Eisel, one of the fine American players of the last decade. She's been in the top ten every year since 1964. Marianne starts off in trouble. Last 15. Yes, it was a bad volley, but she didn't bend her knees or get down to it at all. She seemed to more hope for the best than watch the ball. Chrissy! What can you do with a shot like that? 15 all. Love, Love third. Chris, you saw Chrissy Love moving 30. her lips. She's aware of everything going on, correcting the umpire right away. Jones, the umpire. Dirty all. Marianne's certainly getting more mistakes out of Chrissy's forehand than she is out of the two-fisted backhand. Again goes for the wide serve, but mistimes it again. Better one. Chrissy looking annoyed with herself, giving herself a um, slap on the behind, trying to get us moving faster. No, nope, can't Mary quite get to that one. Has the game, she came back from about 30. One all. Games are one all, second set. And Mary Ann hasn't lost her serve now since the second game of the match. 15, last. won 11 national championships on her own in the United States. notices when Chrissy serves too that uh, she doesn't have a, a pocket on her dress anywhere the boys when they've got a two-fisted shot they have a pocket where they keep the second ball and they but Chrissy doesn't have anywhere to put it so if her first serve goes into court and into play then she has to throw the second ball behind her and uh, this sometimes can cause a bit of a hazard on the court not only a hazard but do some of her opponents complain because it's distracting sometimes when she just drops the ball I yes like it's all right if she throws it behind her, but sometimes she drops it actually on the court, and uh, this can obstruct the play. 2-1 for Chrissy Everett. We'll return in a moment to Center Court Classics on Classic Sports Network. The world thinks American soccer is second rate. The world thinks we don't belong here. And the world thinks our team is weak.
things that can intimidate me. We'll see about that. How do you get stronger? Leaner. Quicker. Well, when this sports company looked to improve their business game, they got the help of a personal trainer. Arthur Anderson. Business Performance Improvement. Classic Sports Network presents This Day in Classic Sports, May 31st, 1983. Fo, fo, fo. After this. Hi, this is Jim Courier inviting you to come out for a free tennis lesson at a USA Tennis Free For All near you. May is USA Tennis Month, and ATP Tour players like Jim Courier are supporting the effort to bring new players to the game. Kids and adults can get a free lesson at a USA Tennis Free For All event taking place in over 165 communities nationwide. To get the details for your hometown, call 1-800-884-USTA. Get in the game. May 31st, 1983, the Philadelphia 76ers clinched their first NBA title in 16 years. Moses Malone had predicted foe, foe, foe as in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back sweeps. In fact, the Sixers only lost one game. Tune in every day for this day in Classic Sports. Check out Classic Sports' website at www.classicsports.com for listings, legends, and the chance to tell us what you want to see on Classic Sports Network. Here's Marianne Eisel. Merci, I'm sure Marianne Webb doesn't mind at all the reporters writing about Christy as long as she has the last word and wins the match. <laughs> the last point, that's all she wants. Yes. Dirty love. Again, Christy missing that forehand. I quite know what she's doing wrong. Backhand is murder. Dirty, Sprays, yeah. line drives from that baseball grip shot. Yeah, she seems to stand waiting for the backhand in, with her, her hands in the backhand position. So when the forehand comes, she has to change her grip. And I wonder if that's part of the problem. 40, 15. It's a beautiful volley from Marianne, that one. Very crisp and firm. Games are too all. Not so many breaks of serve in this game. Both girls seem to have settled down on the court. Here's Chrissy serving it to all. Missed. Marianne Eisel questions the call by Seal Rosenthal. Marianne thought she had the line. Seal Rosenthal said no, and Seal Rosenthal's word is firm. That bounced twice. I don't think it bounced too well the first time. There seems to be a little green patch there where the ball skips off. through. Rather looked as though Marianne didn't, doesn't trust that lady, so that time she made it quite sure that it was really well and truly wide.
Not much of a bounce there either. No, the courts, the courts are very soft this year, but I've noticed one or two of the players slipping and sliding all over the place. And Mr. Gorman didn't do his ankle any good on this court the other day. Now, Tom Gorman hurt himself against Ian Tyriak, had to default. He was a Wimbledon semi-finalist. Let called. She'll serve it again. Second ball. First break point of the second set. It's against Chrissy Everett. Caught the line. Marianne, the volley. She breaks through and she leads 3 2. You're watching Classic Sports Network. Hey, don't work too late, kid. Thanks. stuff when I was your age. Just didn't have a fancy name for it. Because I never had a Subaru Outback Sport either. Too bad, Uncle. This beauty's got a ton of cargo space. Full-time all-wheel drive, more horsepower than a RAV4. You never did that, I'll bet. Sure we did. But, uh, what's the rope for? Outback Sport. Part of the Outback family from Subaru. We now return to Center Court Classics on Classic Sports Network. Marianne Eisel serving now. She's opened the lead in the second set and delivers her fourth double fault. Seems to be trying to give that service break away, but here. Leading 3-2. Of course, if she wins this game, she's ahead 4-2, which means Chrissy Everett has already lost her service in this set. seems to be stepping up the pace of her game here, both with her service and her volleys. And uh, Chrissy is beginning to get a little less accurate with her ground strokes because of this. That was a crisp volley into the bottom of the net, which is why I'm sure she didn't intend that. Anyway. Here she goes, 30 all. Good lob. Marianne can't get it. And Chrissy has set up a break point for herself. She saw Marianne. She saw Marianne move in then to the net and thought this is a very good time to just slip it over the top. It was a winner all the way. That's long. And the kid comes back. Chrissy Everett has broken, and the second set is even. Three off. Cut the line. Yes, a beautiful serve, right on. Some of the people thought Marianne's 
shot was wide. Chrissy doesn't seem to question any of the decisions at all, though. She just brushes that little piece of hair out of her eye and gets on with the next point. Marianne Eisel. And the crowd really enjoyed that volley. Break points now for Marianne against Chrissy. That is good. So Marianne breaks back and Marianne Eisel leads 4 3. We'll return in a moment to Center Court Classics on Classic Sports Network. Seems I'm late for our little reception. No worries. I'm driving this new Subaru Outback. Shortcut. It's got full-time all-wheel drive, like my other Outback, so I can take it almost anywhere, like my other Outback. In fact, there's only one difference, really. Matilda. It's got this stylish rear end to go with her. Nice trunk. The all-new Outback Sport Utility Sedan from Subaru. I got an idea. Wisdom doesn't come easily, nor is it easy to pass on. Now Philips has a way to create your own CD that holds everything you know about the things that interest you and share your words, pictures, and music with anyone you want. Come on. Got anything for the pictures? The Philips CD rewritable disk drive creates CD ROMs on your own PC. You're watching Classic Sports Network. Marianne Eisel, leading 6-4-4-3. The winner of this match will go into the third round, most likely play Francoise Durr. Francoise Durr is seeded five in this championship, and uh, she's recently been playing above form, and I would say she has a very good chance of causing some upsets in this tournament. Marianne did not hit a good overhead. She allowed Chrissy to stay in the point. Yes, it was a short love. One felt that Marianne should have really hit that, punished that one away for a winner. She allowed Chrissy a second bite at the cherry, and Chrissy liked that one. Right back alive with a couple of break points. The volley is wide. Chris Everts. Wins, Mary Ann Eisel serve for all. There she is, doing up her shoelace, taking a little breather, trying to compose herself now to maybe win her service for a change and put a little pressure on Mary Ann Eisel. She's still mistiming that forehand, though. She seems to be taking it a little bit late. And uh, as a result, the ball is going up and a little too far over the baseline the other end. The vital ninth game. In the first set, Chrissy was serving it and she was broken. She 
a beautiful return of serve. You couldn't ask for a better forehand than that. 30. So smooth and flowing and so much power and angle too. And a short second serve from Chrissy, enabling Marianne to get to the net. But she should have been passed with that one. One of the few bad 15, shots, Chrissy. 40. Yep. So break points. And we've had four straight breaks of serve. Everett in a spot. She saves one. 30, 40. Second break point could cost Chrissy the match right here. Oh. Out. She misses it. It is wide. The break for Marianne Dang. Isa, who leads 5-4. You are the worst umpire that I've ever seen in my you life. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. How can you possibly call that out? How many are you going to miss? You're watching Classic Sports Network, where the legends play. It's an Acura 24-valve V6, like the Acura NSX. It's the power of sequential multiport fuel injection, like the NSX. It's four-wheel independent double wishbone suspension, like the NSX. It's comfortable seating for five, like two and a half NSXs. It's the TL from Acura, the true definition of luxury, yours. The world thinks American soccer is second rate. The world thinks we don't belong here. The world thinks our team is weak. The world thinks they can intimidate me. We'll see about that. We now return to Center Court Classics on Classic Sports Network. So Marianne Isa will be serving for the match and a spot in the third round of the U.S. Open. She leads 6-4, 5-4, Marianne. Although she has been our national indoor champion three years, 1964, 69, and 70, and the national indoors played in Boston, she's never played very well at Forest Hill, never been beyond the third round. Now, she must overcome the girl who's been getting all the publicity, the kid from Fort Lauderdale, and Marianne has the match on her racket. But Chrissy drives oh, in a wedge. Those last four points seem eternal, I think, when you're serving for a match. It's the most difficult position to be in. Sixth one for Marianne Eisel. And she is back in that corner now. Love 30. She hasn't served six aces to make up for those six double faults either. As a pro tennis player, she shouldn't serve that many. That is way out of court. And who came into this game to win the match now is skewered on break points, three of them. Chrissy trying to button in her concentration. There it is, the break. Second set is even, five all. I know women's tennis doesn't normally rely on serve, but it's very unusual on a grass court to get as many as six break service, service break games in a row here. Very unusual, especially as Marianne Kurt Isel usually serves very well indeed and wins her service games the vast majority of the time, but she's really out there having trouble. Oh. 
Chris Evert now serving with new balls at five all. Now this has been the pattern. Break serve and then get in trouble on your own. Marianne casting an eye up to the aeroplane overhead. The noise is always distracting to a tennis player because you rely a certain amount on ear to hear how hard your opponent has hit the ball. Chrissy Everett. She played that volley then and I'm sure the ball was going miles out of court. point by Marianne Eisel. The forehand really opened up the court and then she waited to see which way Chrissy Everett was going to run and put the ball in the opposite direction. Once more, the break points. No novelty in this match. Chris Everett. Oh. The serve. Oh. Marianne eases in against the second ball. That's a good approach, too. And a great Marianne breaks through with the overhead, the seventh straight service break. Game and it's 6 5 for Eisel. We'll return in a moment to Center Court Classics on Classic Sports Network. I know this machine inside out. They are great machine. They hardly ever break. There is only this one in town, but I've always taken care of it. And it only takes about three days to get spare parts. Oh, bye. Yeah. Another. Got a backup plan? Take American Express Traveler's Checks. $300 worth could save the day. The world thinks American soccer is second rate. The world thinks we don't belong here. The world thinks our team is weak. The world thinks it can intimidate me. We'll see about that. Hi, this is Malavia Washington inviting you to come out for a free tennis lesson at a USA Tennis Free For All. May is USA Tennis Month, and ATP Tour players like Malavia Washington are supporting the effort to bring new players to the game. Kids and adults can get a free lesson at a USA Tennis Free For All event taking place in over 165 communities nationwide. To get the details for your hometown, call 1-800-884-USTA. Get in the game. You're watching Classic Sports Network. Back at Victory Yard, and you're watching Chris Everett, when you could still call her Chrissy, as her mother always has. She still had the ponytail. She was still trying to get through high school geometry. And she looks an awful lot like a cute kid next door to people, unless you were across the net. And then you looked into those eyes of hers, and you saw she had that steely heart. She was one very tough competitor. She would go on. We couldn't imagine it then. We thought she was a very good player. But she would go on until 1989, until finally she was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame with the greats. And after that magnificent war she had with her good friend Martina Navratilova, she won all the championships you could win. She set a record for most tournaments won. But here, she's 16 years old. So let's go back to the grass court at Forest Hills where the United States first became aware of Chris Everett. And let's see if she can at least stay in this match against Marianne Eisel. But Eisel won the first set, and she's now serving for the match 
at 6-5. Mary Ann Eisel serving for the second time for the match, and now she has the first point. That makes a lot of difference, too. You can relax, and if you've got one behind you now, and the countdown starts, four, three. Let's see where we get from there. Fault. Two points to go. Marianne Eisel trying to halt the kid. Chrissy Everett, who has not lost a match since March. Right, sir. And that is on the line. 40, love. Chrissy Everett. Doesn't look as though it bothers her, but there are three match points against her. Well, that's what you do with one of them. 40, 15. Once more, the match point, gripping Chrissy Everett. Oh. Oh. And that's what you do with another. And if somebody around here is nervous, it's not Christine Marie Everett. Once more, match point for Mary Ann Eisel. And Chrissy will get a shot at that second serve. Mary Ann hasn't hit one first serve in three here. Double fault. Deuce. Double fault. Seven double faults. Really a sign of the tension and the strain on these girls at this point. Mary Ann Eisel needs a good serve, has it? And is passed! Ever. That's four points in a row, the 16-year-old Chris Everts won here. Now it's break point against Mary Ann Eisel, who had all those match points. Good serve. And a fine volley to get her back to Deuce. I bet she's thinking now, if only I could have done that last time. Well, you mustn't think back in this game. <laughs> now that's a fault. And Chrissy Everett, who was scoring against Marianne's second serve, has it now. That will go wide. Match point number four. Chris Everett has canceled out three match points. This is the fourth. A good return. Marianne can't make the half volley. Juice for a third time. The ordeal for Marianne Eisel. Ball was out. And Chris Everett has her second break point. Mary Ann Eisel with a problem named Everett. Up it goes, it will go long. It's Deuce. Fourth time. Chris Everett. Marianne served a slow one on this deuce point last time and got in behind it, but missed the volley. I wonder what she'll go for this time. Perhaps a swinger out to the forehand. No, nope, straight down the middle. Chris just misses it. Match point again. Fifth match point. Marianne wondering what she needs to do to win this match. Here she goes. Serving point now. Second serve, which Everett has handled so devastatingly. It floats over the baseline. Deuce a fifth time. 
Marianne Eisel and young Chrissy Everett. 16. She'll be 17 in December. She has not lost a match since March. Lost to Denise Triolo then. She looks so cool under these conditions. I don't know how she manages it. Sixth time to match point, Marianne Eisel. Trying to get it. Chrissy trying to prevent it. Just missed. Not far off. Into the corner. Marianne has the match on her racket. Chrissy Everett. Standing there as though she's looking at the blackboard at St. Thomas Aquinas High School, Fort Lauderdale. Marianne Eisel thought she might have had an ace. There was chalk. But the center linesman, Enid Gerard, says no. Now a break point. Third break point. This is certainly the game of the tournament thus far. Six times to deuce. Six match points. Third break point. Chrissy goes for the corner and hits it. Chrissy Everett. Do you believe that? Six match points in that five deuce game <laughs> let's go back to young Chrissy she never had anything like th this happen before in her life now here it is finally after five deuces six match points she has a breaker and Eisel volleying as ever but on the line and Chrissy gets into the tiebreaker now let's remember this is 1971, only the second year of the tiebreaker being accepted at the U.S. Open. It's best of nine points. Now, if you think that was something, that, that only got Chrissy into sudden death. Best of nine point sequence. The little ice woman from Fort Lauderdale. Chrissy Everett serving first point of sudden death. She's still in plenty of trouble. She's lost the first set. One point for Everett. I wonder who side the crowd are on. <laughs> so many cheers going up. And Chrissy looked round just then to quieten them down a bit. Second point of the tiebreaker. Marianne electing to stay back. This is her back the grand stroke there. Mary Ann Eisel wondering where the points have gone. She had six match points, couldn't close it out. Now she's down zero points to two. In the tiebreaker, first one to five wins it. If Marianne gets there, she has the match. If Chrissy gets there, it's all even. Two points to one now for Chrissy Everett. Marianne will serve again. And then the serve goes to Chris Everett. has a three points to one lead in the tiebreaker as they change ends of the court. Yes, Marianne produced a great service then, but Chrissy Everett wasn't to be denied there. Returned the ball nicely to Marianne's feet, forcing her to play a half volley, which uh, was a tricky shot at the best of times. And a big cheer goes up for Chrissy as she takes up a position on the baseline, ready to serve. Marianne just coming back now, facing a deficit of one to three. Here's Chrissy 
three one up. Chrissy two points from winning the second set. As a set point, and in fact, several of them against Marianne, who have match points. It's set point for Chrissy Everett. Wow. And this match is dead even. I'm bad, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. Classic Sports Network where the legends play. As the NBA Championship Series approaches, ESPN Classic Sports brings you the ultimate NBA Finals, the greatest games in NBA Finals history, the ultimate Game 1, Game 2, all the way through Game 7. I think we see Willis coming out. The ultimate moments. Walt Fraser hosts the ultimate NBA Finals. Premieres Tuesday night at 9, only on ESPN Classic Sports. Hey, want something even easier than the Shawala? What could be easier than this? Try the Swirl On 2. Now you can wash your car with no effort at all. Swirl On 2 is practically automatic. Simply attach it to your garden hose, add soap or detergent, and turn the dial to soap. The powerful rotating head and soft 8-inch brush wash away all the dirt quickly and easily. And look, the head swivels to any position. Use it this way, and cleaning high vehicles has never been easier. Use it this way for wheels. Now, turn the dial to rinse and clear water washes all the soap away. Your car is left sparkling clean. Washing this baby has never been easier. Swirl on two is great. I can't believe how soft this is. Swirl on two even comes with this extension handle that lets you wash the outside of your house just as easily. The dirt just floats away. Add this second extension handle, and you can reach even the highest windows. But there's still more. Remove the brush head, attach this jet blaster nozzle, and you can power clean your walk and driveway just like a pressure cleaner. And watch, swivel the nozzle, and you can clean out your gutters in no time. Chores like this used to take me half a day, but now there's nothing to it. You get the rotating soft brush head, the soap and rinse valve, not one, but two extension handles, and the jet blaster nozzle, the complete Swirl On 2 system for only $19.95. It's proudly made in the USA and guaranteed to delight you or your money back. So order your Swirl On 2 now. Call toll-free 1-800-459-1818. That's 1-800-459-1818. Or send check or money order for $19.95 plus shipping and handling to Swirl On 2, 2 Morgan Avenue, Norwalk, Connecticut. For fastest delivery, use your credit card and call 1-800-459-1818. We now return to Center Court Classics on Classic Sports Network. Bud Collins and Ann Jones, we're going to go right down to the court because the crowd is going crazy for little Chrissy Everett of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, who has a break point. First game, third set against Mary Ann Izzo. Let's go down to the court. She just made it, Bud. And she's broken. We're in live. Take a good look at her. Christine Marie Everett, 16 years old. The youngest player ever to play for the United States in the Whiteman Cup against Great Britain. She won two matches over Virginia Wade and Winnie Shaw. Upsets both of them to lead the United States to victory over my colleague's team, the British, of Captain Ann Hayden-Jones. Now let me tell you what she has done today, because she must have been reading all the publicity she got coming into the stadium for the first time on Thursday against Etta Budding, a strong German player, playing in the stadium. First time she'd ever seen the stadium. She came here with her mother and said, what's that big thing? Her mother, Colette Everett, said, that's the stadium. She said, I wonder if I'll ever play there. They put her right in. She beat Budding, 6-1, 6-0. Then she lost the first set today to Mary Ann Eisel of St. Louis, the number four player in the United States. Mary Ann Eisel had six match points in the 12th game of the second set. Chrissy wouldn't let her have him. They went into sudden death. Chrissy won that, and now it's all even, except that Chrissy has a break and is serving at 1-0 in the third. On the line. Marianne Eisel is 
looks really disconcerted, Anne. Yeah, she had that short ball there. She should have made sure of the point right then and there and hit it firmly in the opposite direction, but she hit it straight back to Chrissy and lost the point. Chrissy Everett playing a very steady baseline game. And firm control of all the baseline rallies. Her forehand was a little suspect at the start, but has settled down now, playing it very steadily. Marianne's game seems to momentarily have faltered. She must be still dreaming of those six match points she had uh, only a few moments ago. Chrissy Everett is moving. She has won, let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten straight points. She won the sudden death tiebreaker to win the second set, five points to one after saving six match points. Now, Marianne Eisel is down, no games to two. Eisel. And she hears some welcome applause because this crowd in the stadium at the West Side Tennis Club has been all for Everett, the little girl. 104 pounder. Marianne recovering her composure a little bit with those two firmer volleys. But her game, she's really struggling with it at the moment. She's lost her confidence and consequently her power and rhythm have deserted her temporarily. Maybe she can clinch this game here. She'll settle down again and it'll develop into a ding-dong battle, just as the second set was. Double fall. That's eight for Marianne Eisel. That's at least six too many for a professional tennis player. If you serve eight double faults, you're supposed to serve eight aces as well to counter them, but hasn't done that. That'll go out. Marianne trying to pull 40, herself 30. together. She had 40 love. Now it's 40-30. She must not lose this service game, or she'll be down 3-0 in the decisive third set. Second round match of the U.S. Open. Chrissy, with that baseball backhand, has pushed Marianne to deuce. I can't understand, Bud, why Marianne keeps serving it wide to her backhand there. She's lost so many points doing that. It's like a death wish. Chrissy again, Chrissy Everett. She was six years old, ten years ago. She first picked up a racket, and she was not strong enough to hit the backhand with one hand. So her father encouraged her to use two. That goes wide. Marianne Eisel collapsing. Had she had 40 love, and now she's down 0-3, and will return with more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships from Forest Hills in just a moment. We'll return in a moment to Center Court Classics on Classic Sports Network. You know, I was into all that extreme stuff when I was your age. Just didn't have a fancy name for it. Because I never had a Subaru Outback Sport either. Too bad, Uncle. This beauty's got a ton of cargo space. Full-time all-wheel drive, more horsepower than a RAV4. You never did that, I'll bet. Sure we did. But, uh, what's the rope for? Outback Sport, part of the Outback family from Subaru. The world thinks American soccer is second rate. The world thinks we don't belong here. The world thinks our team is weak. The world thinks it can intimidate me. We'll see about that. You're watching Classic Sports Network. Chrissy Everett, serving a junior at St. Thomas Aquinas High School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida.
Chrissy, an amateur, serving against the professional. 16-year-old amateur, there's 24-year-old Marianne Izzo, St. Louis. Marianne really has her back against the wall now. Love three in the final set. Al. Two breaks of service gone. 15 all. And the composed Chrissy Everett at the other end, looking as though nothing in this world's going to bother her. It's going on relentlessly, gathering in the points. Al. And I must say, Marianne's helping 30, considerably 15. now, making a lot of unforced errors. Chrissy has won five straight games in this run. She's on the verge of the sixth. There it goes. She swings it like Carl Yastrzemski, knocking a line 14, drive 15. against that left field wall at Fenway Park. Let call. The ball behind her. The ball boy scoops it up. What a save. Ace. And we've seen it all now. James Jesse Everett, Everett, first ace of the match. Four games to run. And she can do nothing wrong. I think that's the first ace of uh, forever and all time. <laughs> she might have had one when she was 10 or 11. It's not a thing she expects to do, I'm sure. Marianne, Man, gee. looking really dejected now. So although Chrissy has played very, very well indeed, Marianne must feel that she's let this match slip through her fingers. Doesn't seem to have the concentration now to fight her way back into it or the determination possibly Dirty love. the points flying away from Marianne she's trying to pull her concentration together the number four player of the United States and she wins it Now, she's been at 40 Love before. Last time she served, she lost it. She was at 40 Love in match game. Lost that in the oh. second set. Chrissy Everett cares not for the score, the situation, the drama. She just hits winners. Six-game run, 4-1. The Chrissy craze has begun, and every kid in America wants to hit the backhand with two fists, boys and girls. That was the way to do it. Now, I'm apologetic because the tape, it's an old tape. We don't have the last two games, but guess who got them? Chrissy did. You've seen the essence, the six match points, but she's never done again. Why should she? She never got that far behind again. You've seen it, the essence of this match, and it just went on and on. The script was set. Lose the first set, win the next two. The next opponent, the great French woman, Francoise Durr. First set, she had it. Chrissy wins the match, like that racehorse. Silky Sullivan, always coming from behind. Then the Australian, a very good player, Leslie Hunt. Chrissy comes back again, wins it in three sets. And so it went. All her opponents leaving the place in tears. These old women, when they were in their 20s, couldn't quite understand how she could do it, but she did it. The fans went crazy. Chris said, well, she didn't expect much, but she stayed loose. Marianne Eisel couldn't talk. She was really dazed, shell-shocked. So it went until the semifinals. The fairy tale ends there because the wicked old witch is Billie Jean King, and she was too quick on the fast grass court. But this is the tournament that started it all, the world's love affair with Christine Marie Everett. Classic Sports Network will continue in a moment.